Hey guys, what's up? Sonia Escobar live from Smokey Studios, Urban Grind TV. And I'm here with my guy, Martin. So Martin, why don't you tell the people a little bit about yourself? Oh, really? How long we got? <laughs> as much as you need. Started playing drums at nine, backing strippers, drinking Newcastle Brown Ale at the age of 11. Fact. Joined a band with Johnny Rotten from the Sex Pistols at the age of 19. Came over to America for the first time in 1980. I don't know what you were doing in 1980. Yeah, I was in hospital... The same hospitals were on a Reagan two days uh, before he was shot. Wow. Bottled in the face in Washington, D.C. Another story. Um, five years with that band, I joined a band called Killing Joke. I have a Grammy for my work with Nine Inch Nails. Uh, started a band called Pig Face. It's our 25th anniversary on the 25th of November. Wow. We're playing at the House of Blues. Uh, have a label called Invisible. We put out 350 albums. I have a studio. I've written three books. Uh, I've been teaching for 14 years. I'm the music business department chair at SAE Chicago. Okay, well, you know, it's too bad you have you don't do anything with your time. Um, I'm just old. I'm just really old. It you're like wise. Old, but I'm just old. You know, your experience is what I'm hearing. Okay, thank you. So you obviously have some insider information. What um, tips or hacks or whatever you want to call it, tips can you give somebody that wants to get in the business? Stop being a fucking idiot. Just learn from people who have made all of the mistakes before you in Technicolor and 3D with a Jägermeister bottle in one hand and a whatever in the other. All of the mistakes have been made before, but people won't look around and educate themselves and avoid them in the future. People are making the same, same mistakes that were made by uh, Buddy Holly in 1962. We just keep making them over and over again. So, uh, if you're serious about your music, you've got to get serious about every other thing. Otherwise, you're, you're fucking up. Okay, in order to know some of this stuff, you need resources, right? So, what do you say to the average Joe that wants some of this information that they don't really know the history of it because they don't have access to it? Like, what's the easiest way? Go to the library? Your website? No. You can, so, you can just look on the internet and see all of the horror stories right this guy's got a book there's a, how to make it in the midwest i've got a, a free download of welcome to the music business you're fucked i'm happy to give you that code you can flash it up people can get that there are people we're always doing stuff at the school with information um, boy illinois was just up there poppy beats who worked on saba's new album was just up there there's always shit going on the city of chicago is always doing cool stuff the information is there if you seek it out if you want to sit around pretending you know it all you're fucked well i have a lot to read <laughs> but also uh i'm hearing a lot of self-awareness um it seems kind of obvious to me that if you want to master something you need to study it and then work and work and work and a lot of these young millennials quote unquote don't have the patience or the work ethic or they give up early is that just a new trend or you or have you seen this before it's tough it, it's tough to say that someone doesn't have the work ethic i think there's so there's so much camouflage of insecurity it's kind of, kind of what i see like yeah we got this it's like no you don't we got it we're doing 90 miles an hour like yeah in the wrong direction because you don't have a fucking map you know right so people are just fronting that they know it and sometimes that's good but sometimes it's just ridiculous so if you, you're right self-awareness you can't you've got to admit that you have a problem and it's the world and the music business and your art and your music and if, if it's important to you get help Sometimes it's like a, a, a sexually transmitted disease. You know, it's not a bad thing to get help in the music business. It's not a bad thing to say, "Hey, I need help," because there's lots of people like me who will help you. It might take me, t you know, I can sit down with someone who's going on tour. I can save them ten thousand dollars in thirty minutes. I know I can because I've done it a million times. But if you don't ask for help, I can't do that. And I, you know, buy me a cup of coffee and I'll save you ten grand. Well, if anybody actually wants to take you up on that offer, how can they get in contact with you? m.atkins at sae.edu. Send me an email. An email? Yeah. Are you on Snapchat? 
No, I'm not on Snapchat. I'm on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, and that's another way to get my book. I'm on Twitter as Martin, M A R T E E E E, four E's, just like the old days on Twitter. And it's like an 80s drug joke. I don't know if you. Saw that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and see, uh, see, there's a drug called ecstasy that we used to call mm-hmm. E. So when I say E E E E, I'm pressing a drug button in the over 50s in your audience. Which well, is like one. Hi. Well, I'm addicted to reading. So what was the name of your book once again? Uh, my first book is called Tour Smart. It's up on Amazon. It's like 700 pages on touring. Second book is called Welcome to the Music Business. You're fucked. And I just finished Band Smart, which is the 700 page prequel to Tour Smart. Thank you so much for your time once again. Sonia Escobar, live from Smokey Studios, Urban Grind TV. We out. It's Martin Atkins. <laughs> it's Martin Atkins, author of Welcome to the Music Business. You're fucked, asterisk. Uh, you're watching Urban Grind TV. Why? Because it's fucking awesome, isn't it?